Evaluate this expression using the order of operations. Well, to do this, we need to perform the order of operations step by step. So that means our first step is going to be eliminating any grouping symbols that are in our problem. So looking at our expression, do we have any grouping symbols? Oh yeah, we have a few. So we need to evaluate those. Now remember, when we're dealing with grouping symbols, if we have multiple grouping symbols, like we do right here, we need to evaluate the innermost grouping symbol first. So here, we need to take 30 minus 10 first. And 30 minus 10 is 20. We also have 2 plus 4, which will equal 6. Now, have we eliminated all of our grouping symbols? No, we still have to deal with the grouping symbols here. So we need to continue with this step. To do this, we take 20 times 2, and we get 40. Then we just rewrite everything else. Now we've eliminated all of our grouping symbols. We're ready for the next step. Step number two is to eliminate any powers that we have in our problem. Well, in our problem, we only have one power, and it's way at the end, 10 squared. So, in order to evaluate it, we need to rewrite everything else, and then evaluate our power. So 10 squared becomes 100. Now we've eliminated all of our powers. The third step in the order of operations is to multiply and divide from left to right. So let's do that. 10 is all by itself, so we just rewrite it. Then we take 3 times 40, which is 120, then 6 divided by 3 is 2, and we rewrite 100. Well, now we need to multiply together 2 and 100. So we have 10 plus 120 plus 200. Now we've eliminated all of our multiplications and divisions. Last step. The last step in the order of operations is to add and subtract from left to right. Well, since we don't have any subtractions, all we need to do is add everything together. When we do, we get an answer of 330.